Hi. Hi, Errol. Nice to meet you. I'm nice Kin. Nice to meet you, Kin. Yeah. Uh, nice to meet you too. How Thank are you? you? I'm doing very well. I was just in another call when when you called. Sorry, I hope I didn't okay, keep okay. you waiting. No problem. No problem. Yeah. And where are you from? I see, oh, you're from Turkey. Istanbul. Yeah, yeah. Very yes. nice. <laughs> yes, I, live I Istanbul. love Istanbul. I would love to go to Istanbul. I haven't been to Turkey yet, but I would yeah. like to go. Hmm. Have you uh, Have you ever been in Istanbul? No, no, I haven't been to Turkey yet. I, I wish hmm. I wish to travel there. Uh, yes. Uh, and uh, have you ever been in Turkey? No. Huh. No, I haven't been to Turkey. Even, even Turkey, okay. I would like to travel to Turkey. Okay. I would like okay. to. Maybe this year, maybe. Maybe oh, I'll see. Great, great. Istanbul yeah. is uh, beautiful. Uh, I advise you uh, to visit here. I've heard such beautiful mm -hmm. things. I would love to yeah. see, uh, what's it called? Uh, the place with the balloons. Ka Kampa. Cappadocia, Cappadocia. Cappadocia. Yes, Cappadocia. Uh, <laughs> in in Nevşehir, uh, not in Istanbul. Uh, in Istanbul, uh, there are also a uh, place to visit. Uh, mm. I advise you. <laughs> I would like all to see to see Gobi. What's it called? What is the twelve thousand year old ruins they found? I can never remember what it's called. Uh -huh. Old bitch something. Uh, I typed it, but it's not showing for some reason. Oh. Ruins. Um, I didn't get it. Uh, sorry. 12. Oh, yeah. sorry. 12,000. Yeah, Istanbul. Year age. old mm -hmm. ruins. No, uh, it's, a, it's a place starting with a G. Hmm. I, I asked Sophia. Maybe. Gobli something. No, go bit. What is the <laughs> name? Hold on. Uh, I want to look for it. One second. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm waiting. Uh, let's see. It's in Gobekli Tip. Gobekli Tepe. Tip, yeah. Gobekli Tepe. Tepe, yeah. Gobekli Tepe. Tepe, yeah. Ah. Tepe, yeah. Ah. <laughs> I want to. I want to visit this place. Yeah. Uh, in Istanbul, is it? Uh, I don't think so. It's a uh, no, and Anatolia region, Anatolia, mm, okay, southeast, okay. southeast Turkey. Okay, okay, mm. okay, it's great. Have you, you haven't been there? Uh, no, uh, I haven't been there. Uh, I um, actually, I am born in Mersin, is the south of Turkey. Uh, for for my uh, university education, for my university college, how can I say, Univer uh, for university, I uh, have came, I have come to Istanbul, uh, and uh, I, I still live here. Uh, I never left Istanbul. So uh, when was your university? You uh, had, I had come, yeah, I had I come have, to yes, in the past. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. Yes, uh, I had. Uh, in uh, 2010. Right. Uh, okay. To 2010 to uh, 2017. I had come to Istanbul uh, yes. for uh, university, right? You said for university. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's true. Yes. That's um, true. Uh, okay. Then uh, about almost two years, uh, I'm working here. Uh, after university, uh, probably I will never left here yeah. uh, because uh, I like Istanbul. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, I'm correcting you. Eh? I just want you no, to know no, that no, I'm paying thank, attention thank you, to everything you're saying. I just, I will never leave. Yes, and yes, I will never uh, left. I will never leave here. So I, thanks. Uh, I need it. I need you're that. Welcome. No problem. Yes, I see. I see where you're having some trouble in your grammar, okay. but okay. I will correct it. I will correct okay. it so that you can know. So, have you studied the tenses, the English tenses, the twelve English tenses? Uh, uh, not, not, uh, 
Are you I studying am, any grammar? Uh, no, uh, I am not studying any grammar. Uh, actually, uh, this session is my uh, third session in, on Cambly. Okay. Uh, I am a new guy here. <laughs> uh, Welcome. Yes. Uh, I'm trying to uh, have, I'm trying to have habit. Uh, uh, I'm maybe, uh, how can I say? Okay, continue. Uh, I'm, I'm new. Uh, so uh, I'm trying to learn uh, how I use here, uh, how I used Cambly. Uh, I'm, I'm just uh, make session uh, converse, conversation practice uh, yet. Uh, I had not uh, to try uh, uh, um, You Have you tried yeah. other teachers? How many teachers have you tried? You've tried uh, how many three, other teachers? Three teachers. Three uh, teachers. Yes, yes. Uh, so... So I'm your fourth teacher. No, no, uh, you are my third Oh, I'm teacher. your third teacher. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Did you like the other two teachers? Yes, uh, I like uh, I like them. Were they helpful? Yes. Uh, actually, uh, they they help they help me uh, about um, maybe not uh, nervous, uh, not uh, shape. Um, Speaking uh, not nervously, how can I say? So they helped you. Relax. They helped you uh, relax and and yeah, speak. Being uh, relaxed. Yes. yes. Being relax, uh, speak without I nervousness. Speak. Yeah. Yeah. Without nervousness. Good. That's really good. Yeah. It's just practice, Errol. It's just practice, right? You keep doing it, and you get more confident. I I really like that you're that you're allowing yourself to be fluent. Right. <laughs> you know, with when when it comes to teaching English, it's always a balance between fluency and accuracy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Fluency and accuracy. The fluency is your ability to continue talking without pausing and thinking, uh, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. like fluency is your ability, even if you're you're saying things wrong. Right. Mm -hmm. Fluency yeah. is the ability to continue talking saying whatever's coming on your mind, right? Okay. And accuracy, coming mm -hmm. to your mind, I should say, accuracy is the correct, the grammatical form, whether how correct you are, right? So yeah. a tutor always has to be sort of leaning more towards fluency with, yeah. with speech, with speech specifically yeah, yeah. because we need, you need to feel free. It's okay to make mistakes. You're going to learn. And you're going to learn through repetition. Like I'm going to make corrections, but I also want you to have the confidence to be able to speak as much as you can. So, uh, thank you. You are right. Uh, I need it, actually, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, so, um, how, um, which site or which apps uh, should I use, maybe uh, for for your uh, grammar? Yeah. Mm. Good. Yeah. I think that's a good question. Okay. Well, there are a lot of resources on Cambly's site. Yeah. Um, but I know you're probably going to be overwhelmed with what to learn. So yeah. I would say maybe you could start with, okay, what is your purpose in learning English now? Is it for work? Um, or not, uh, not exactly uh, because, um, I'm not using English uh, at work, uh, so uh, my English is still not good. Maybe okay. uh, I, I'm I'm uh, working about two years and uh, I'm not using my English. Uh, okay. I'm I um, I want I want to learn English. Uh, I want to learn to speak fluency. Uh, fluently. Because, yeah, fluently uh, to. If for my self improvement, uh, maybe uh, I maybe I I will want I want to go abroad or um, I see maybe maybe I will uh, work uh, on abroad uh, out of Turkey maybe uh, five years later or. 
two years later uh, uh, and I am not uh, I am uh, not ready for this uh, okay uh, I know English a little bit maybe grammatically uh, uh, how can I say mm, I'm learning English uh, with uh, with grammar grammatically uh, uh, at high school university uh, uh, I'm studying 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 but uh, I'm not speaking uh, English so you're getting a chance to uh, you're not getting a chance to practice speech yeah, oh, but yeah, you're yeah. learning you're learning the right the writing and the reading yeah, yeah, how is your yeah. reading how is your reading uh, my reading skill uh, I think it is not bad not too bad because uh, I'm I'm uh, working as a uh, in in uh, it uh, it uh, i'm actually i'm working as a data analyst uh, sometimes i i need to uh, search i need to search uh, something uh, on the internet uh, uh, of course uh, they are english uh, sources yeah uh, so uh, i'm using them sometimes or uh, i'm using them usually maybe okay uh, yeah i was thinking um to maybe uh uh sorry i'm just the things that i'm looking at right now um are common uh conversations in yeah. you know let's say a restaurant like if you travel yeah you know you want to know the common yeah. dialogue in the in the restaurant industry um yeah. And so this is like something you can look at. The last one I sent you, not the other links. The other links, I just looked at them. I clicked to see what they were, but um, it shows that, I, that I'm that i pasting all these okay. links for you. But actually the first one is the one, I, the last one is the one I want you to look at. Hmm. Okay. That's one that you can review and just get to know the terms of the restaurant industry. Yeah. What I'm actually looking for more specifically are just basic conversation starters. And I'm having a hard time finding uh, family conversation. Um, oh, here we go. Conversation starters. Let me see. Hmm. There's a website called conversationstarters.com. Okay. Uh Thank you. And uh, I will use, uh, I will uh, visit uh, that site firstly. Right? Yes. Yeah, okay. So like, for example, good conversation starters when you meet someone new. Uh, these are all, you know, how to use it in what context. I, I haven't even looked through these, to be honest with you, Errol. So I, I'm just trying to find something for you to work with, but I need to organize my files in a, in a better way so that I can. Anyways, we only have three uh, three minutes left, yeah. so there's no really time to start doing anything um, with uh -huh. the material. But but just look at these after and see if they're helpful. But I think um, you should make a list of different types of contexts that you want to learn how to speak English in. So let's say restaurant, movie, where did, what's interesting to you? You know, what are you interested in? You're going to learn English really, really fast if you combine it with something you really love. Yeah. yeah. I Choose something that you love and learn how to have a conversation about it. And we can have a conversation about that. So do you want to do that for the next class? I'm going to make a note. Um, we will choose a topic that okay. Errol likes uh, and we will learn the common uh, phrases associated with that topic. Okay, so this is what I wrote in your note. Okay, so thanks for this. I wrote this for you. So I know next time if you when we when you book another appointment with me, um, we can, I don't know if you got that. Did you see it? Oh, yeah. We will choose a topic that Errol likes yeah, yeah, and we will learn the common phrases associated with that topic. Yeah. Okay. And that way we can start with some kind of groundwork on how to shape your English 
and uh, correctly how to create the structure, the correct, the right structure, and you learn the phrases as well. The phrases. It's really good for you to learn phrases, Errol. You know what I mean? How, what people say generally, phrases. Phrases, yeah. Uh, phrases, yes. yeah. Uh, okay, I see. Like, how are you doing, you know? How are you doing? Okay, or, okay. What's going on with you, you know? Things like that, phrases. So we have 40 yeah. seconds. Uh, yeah. I feel like 15 minutes is so short, or 16 minutes. <laughs> oh, thank you. So thank really you. short. It goes by so fast. So, uh, so thanks for your advices and uh, informations. Uh, I hope to, I hope to uh, see you see you and uh, next times. <laughs> okay. Yes, I hope to book. A, I hope you book another another a session with me. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Errol. Thank you. Have okay. a good evening. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you.